Hi, this is Debbie, and today I have a different kind of video to share with you. On my blog, I am talking about how to support others and the importance of clicking through affiliate links to hopefully bring a smile to a small business person at this time of year. Without the support of affiliate links, many people won't be able to share the content that they do. With the aim of transparency, today I am going to show how I set up affiliate links in my blog posts. Hopefully, if you use affiliate links, you might pick up a tip or two. And if you are a content creator and don't use affiliate links, I hope that you will consider doing so. I, for one, would love to support more people by clicking through affiliate links. I use WordPress for writing my blog posts. Here I am in my dashboard and I have added a new post and given it a title. The most important thing I do whenever I start a new blog post is copy and paste a piece of text into my post. This gives me a little structure as to what I want to add. But the important thing is it has my affiliate link disclosure at the very beginning of the post and also at the end in the supply section. It is the law to disclose the use of affiliate links, but it is in my opinion also just courtesy. The links lead to a page on my blog which details how I use affiliate links. I then add photos and text to my blog post. Here I have duplicated a recent post I wrote using the December card kit stamp set from Samsa Stamp. The post runs through with a few pictures and blocks of text explaining the process of making the card under each picture. There are a few options for creating affiliate links. For their ease of use, professionalism and customer service, I use a company called Link Deli. I use Link Deli for both text links where the link is embedded in the words you see on screen and also for the little thumbnail pictures you see at the bottom of my posts. Link Deli works with a large variety of shops that provide affiliate links but please note that you need to be part of the shop's affiliate program in order to benefit. Link Deli is a monthly subscription service, but it is one I find so valuable and I am happy to pay to support another small business. For each blog post, I create a new list. To do this, I click on list at the top of the page and then click the green plus button to create product list. I input a title and usually I use the title of my blog post so that I can refer back to the list and know which post it relates to. You have the option to create the list without a template or use one of the templates you have set up. I start without a template and then add templates to this at the end and I'll show you how to do that later on. The list is now ready to input the products that I used. By entering the name of the products in the search box, Link Deli searches for products matching those words in its database of shops it has listings for. I then scroll through the suggestions until I see the product that I want to add to my list. You have the option to prepend the product to the beginning of your list or append it to the bottom of your list. This helps to keep your list in the order you want the products to appear. Having said that, you can drag and drop the order of the products at any point to change their order. I continue searching for the products I used and adding them to my list. If for any reason I can't find a product or want to add a link to a blog post or a shop which isn't listed, then there is the option to add links using a bookmark tool. I'll not go into the detail of that today, but just know that it is an option. You can pretty much add links to anything from anywhere with Link Deli. For affiliate links to work, you need to be part of the shop's affiliate program and have that set up within Link Deli. I'm just showing you the bare bones of how I add links to my post today, but I will add links in the YouTube description to more videos and tutorials if you want to know more. With the key products that I used now entered into the list, I go over to the buttons at the top right of the list and click the paperclip button. This drops down a list of templates that I previously set up these templates include the items I use all the time and saves me the time in having to add them individually each time. For the blog post I'm writing today, I use my basic toolkit and so by clicking a template, it automatically adds those items to the end of my list. I also did some heat embossing on this card, so I'll add that template. And finally, I did some die cutting, so again, I'll add that template. I then look over the products I've added and make sure that indeed I did use them. As it turns out, I didn't use my favourite wet adhesive range multimedia matte on this card, and so I can easily delete that item from the list. And now this list is ready to use in my blog post. I use the split screen option on my Mac and have my WordPress blog post in one window and the Link Daily list in the other window. I click the web code button at the top right of the Link Daily list and then choose HTML. This gives me two links for each product that I used. I use the second link titled Link URL and by clicking the green button to the side of the link it automatically copies it to my clipboard. I then move across to my blog post, find the relevant text that the link refers to and highlight the text by clicking and dragging with my mouse. I then press the command key and V key together to paste the link into the text. I'm on a Mac and command and V are the shortcuts for paste 
I'm trying to remember what it is for a PC. I think it is Control plus V on a PC. I go through the text of the blog post, looking for places that a link is relevant and adding those links from Link Delhi. I've got this process down now and it doesn't take long at all to add those links in and it makes it handy for the reader to be able to click through to the exact product you're talking about in your post. The advantages from a blogging perspective is that Link Delhi has a bunch of statistics options for analysing the clicks on the links, either within lists or within all your lists over a set time. This is helpful to see what products people want to know more about and can be useful in planning future content. So for example, if lots of people click through to look at a new set of watercolour paints, then you know that your readers are interested in either the product or technique and more blog posts on this subject would be a good idea. With all the text links added, I then go back to my link daily list and this time I click the blog button at the top. I have an email list where my blog posts are sent to readers' inboxes and so I click the email integration option which optimises the list for email as well as my blog post. There are three options to choose from as to the layout of your list and I choose the thumbnail products option. I click the copy button which copies the text onto my clipboard and then I go over to my blog post and I click the text tab which takes me from the visual mode to the HTML mode. I don't write or read HTML but I know the wording just that I use prior to where I insert my thumbnail list and I command V to paste the HTML text into the post. Now if I go to preview the blog post you can see that everything is laid out nicely. The text links are visible within the body of the text and I have these set in my WordPress settings to be this blue colour so that it's easy to see that they are links. Then at the bottom of the post are the thumbnails of all the products that I used. Clicking on the text or the individual thumbnails will take a reader directly to the relevant product. You will notice that the shop icon is shown below the links. Link Delhi has the option to link multiple shops, but I like the clean appearance of the links on their own, and so I can pop over to the Link Delhi list again and change the appearance of my list. By clicking back to the list, I choose the paint, black paintbrush style button and various options to style your list appear. I turn shop links off and save, and then by returning to the blog post and refreshing, you can see that the shop links have now disappeared and is the clean and simple disappearance that I prefer. This is a great feature of Link Delhi in that whatever changes you make to a list are then updated without having to go back and change or add code to the original blog post. Okay, so that draws to a close how I add affiliate links to my blog posts. I hope you found it interesting and if you use affiliate links, possibly helpful. It's always nice to see how someone else is doing it. If you are a content creator and you don't use affiliate links, then please consider using them so that others can support you. So again, I'll leave you with a request that if you're shopping this weekend or any time moving forward, please click an affiliate link and put a smile on the face of a small business person. And if you are a content creator, please make sure your affiliate game is strong so that we can thank and support you. I'll leave links in the YouTube description below to Link Delhi and to more videos and tutorials if you want to know more, as well as a link to the coordinating blog post over at LimeDudaDesign.com. I want to thank you for joining me today, and if you've enjoyed this tutorial, I'd be delighted if you subscribe to this channel. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.